Hi, Bruno here. Welcome to Spain Guru. I work as a consultant. Could I qualify for a Spanish non-lucrative visa? Let's go with a specific question from this Spain Guru community member who says, I am a US citizen looking to move to Spain on a non-lucrative visa. I keep hearing conflicting information. I make money as a consultant, but none of my clients are in Spain. Do I qualify for a Spanish non-lucrative visa or can only retired people qualify? My friend said she was able to get a non-lucrative visa and she said she told the Spanish government she works with US clients. Let's see the answers of Spain Guru community members. The first one, probably not. Spanish consulates in the US have changed the rules on this and are pretty strict about this now. They want to see passive income only now. You could perhaps try applying with lump sum savings instead of income, but I don't know if you will be successful. An autonomo visa is one alternative. Next. If you have the financial requirements and money in the bank or non-work income, you should be fine when you apply. We got ours in October and that's all they cared about. If you need to use your consulting income to prove sufficient means, you'll have a problem. This is a very key answer. Next one. I recently spoke with an immigration lawyer based in Madrid about a month ago and they checked on something similar for me with the Spanish tax authority. The answer they got was that as the director of a company receiving income from that company, I am the owner also, I'm allowed to have income from that company as long as the invoices are building the name of the company. Specifically, they said, after discussing it internally and double-checking with the Spanish tax authorities, we can confirm that as your income comes from an LLC, you will not have the obligation to register in Spain as an autonomo. Therefore, you would be able to request the non-lucrative visa. They also said, you will not need to register with the Spanish Social Security. In case you keep on working with your company in the US and you issue the invoices in the name of the company, even if you appear as a provider of the service. This also may be specific to the LA consulate and that's where I'll be going through too. I think you may need to show proof of financial means as well, although the same immigration attorney said the consulate will accept part of that as a letter from a credit card company saying you have credit available in whatever amount. Very interesting answer. Next, check with your consulate. The rules have changed this year and as far as I know, no consulates are allowing any type of remote work with a non-lucrative visa. Every consulate has different rules. LA was asking to see tax return to prove you don't have a mortgage in the US, the only consulate that does that, in fact, they would see your income there. There are a lot of people here working remotely that got their visas before the rules changed. Next, our understanding is yes, as long as you build your US clients and declare the income in the US. Different if you register your business in Spain, in which case you must do an entrepreneur visa application. And you can find a link to a very interesting article that talks about if you can work remotely for companies outside of Spain under a non-lucrative visa. And of course, you can find the link to the article in the video description below. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of the new content that we upload to the video. And if you need expert advice, just go on spainguru.es. You will find immigration lawyers you will find also tax experts if you need to file taxes in Spain and also in the USA. You will find also relocation services in Spain, apostille services from the US, sworn translators and health insurances when you apply for no lucrative visa, when you apply for a golden visa, student visa, you will need health insurances as well. And we also offer certificate of good health for the UK residents. And also if you need to go back to the States and you need a health insurance, we also offer those health insurances too. And of course, if you want to be part of a community, please join our Facebook group, uh, Spain Immigration and Residency Questions, Spain Guru, yes. Uh, with more than 16,000 members where you can ask any single question related to Spanish uh, immigration issues and you can do it also anonymously. You can also join our non-lucrative visa group with more than 800 members, our Spanish digital nomad visa group. Very important, last but not least, please subscribe to our newsletter. You can opt out anytime. We send this newsletter every single Monday morning and we feature top discussions on our community and uh, any news related to Spanish immigration. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. I wish you a great day. This is Bruno from SpainGuru.es. Goodbye.